What's up, guys? It's another sizzling hot episode of Vibes with yours truly, Rejoice Ewojagi. Now, out of everything that has gone down this week, our biggest surprise has to be the indictment of a commissioner of police in the case of alleged fraud involving popular socialite Hush Poppy. Catch all the tea and more on this episode. We begin this week with an update in the case of alleged rape and sexual assault involving actor Olaren Waju James, popularly known as Babai Jesha. The 14-year-old girl, who was alleged to have been assaulted, has now testified at the Lagos State Special Offenses Court, sitting in Ikeja. The victim gave her testimony behind closed doors on Tuesday, as there's a law protecting minors from undue public exposure. Before her testimony, her foster parent, comedian Princess Ademola Adekoye, also testified before for the court. She told the court that contrary to public perception that the allegation against Babai Jesha was a setup, she baited him with a script conference because she had a plan to confront him. The case has however now been adjourned to August the 11th. Malaria fever inko. Jaundice fever inko. The first runner-up at the recently concluded Nigerian Idols, Francis Atella, has been recognized by his state governor, Samuel Otom. The Benue state governor on Wednesday appointed Francis as a youth ambassador in the state and has also constituted a team from his cabinet to work with the star to further push his career. Are you sure? Are you sure? Meanwhile, The Voice Nigeria came to a rousing end on Sunday with Esther Benyogo emerging as winner of the third season. The 23-year-old walked away with the grand prize of 10 million naira, an SUV and a recording contract from Universal Music Group, leaving her coach Daria Talade with a very proud moment. Still talking reality TV, Big Brother Niger has returned with its sixth season and as you already know, it was a double launch weekend. So far, we're starting to spot the chefs, the loud ones, the observers and of course, the shippers among others. The drama is also slowly starting to unfold with fans already picking their faves. One of the first twists of the game was Biggie announcing that there are two wild cards in the house and although we already know who they are, housemates are still expected to figure them out for possible eviction so we're definitely looking forward to sunday at number one we see the latest twist in the case of international fraud involving socialite raymond igbalode aka hush puppy while the case has been on for months a popular nigerian deputy commissioner of police abakiari has now been indicted in the case he was accused of benefiting from the fraud and subsequently a u.s court ordered the fbi to immediately arrest and detain him according to a u.s court document made public on wednesday hush puppy had bribed carry to arrest and jail chibuzo vincent an estranged co-conspirator who had allegedly been threatened to blow his cover but carry took to facebook to deny the allegation Nations. Meanwhile, the document also revealed that Hush Puppy pleaded guilty to the multi-million dollar fraud charges filed against him by the US government and explained how the proceeds from the crime were spent. With this development, Hush Puppy now risks being sentenced to prison for 20 years amongst other punishments. Moving over to the world of movies, the highly anticipated sequel to one of Nollywood's highest grossing movies of all time, King of Boys, is coming to Netflix this August. This time, however, the Kemi Adetiba film returns as a seven-episode series starting from the 27th. The sequel will see the shocking return of Eniola Salami, played by veteran actress Shola Shobowale, among other old and new cast members. Meanwhile, actress Toy Abraham has now dropped her directorial debut titled Listening Ears. The film which stars Kende Bankole, Fast Rising star Tommy Watekbe, social media sensation Ade herself and several others was released on YouTube and has already gained over 500,000 views within the first week of its release. 
Fashion Spotlight this week is the ever stylish host for the Big Brother Ninja show, Ebuka Obi Uchendu. Ebuka first appeared on the Big Brother Ninja platform as a contestant in the maiden edition of the show in 2006. Thereafter, he rose to limelight when he began hosting shows on TV. 11 years after the Big Brother Ninja show was halted and rebranded, he has now returned as the show's host for the fifth time. Ebuka is married with kids and never ceases a moment to give us ample doses of style goals. Now we round off this segment with some new music and first off we have DMW's first lady Leah who has just dropped her second single titled Alari. While the single dropped on Friday, fans can now anticipate her debut album which is set for release on the 20th of August. Still in the DMW family, David O has just dropped the visuals for one of his singles titled Shopping Spree, a collaboration with Chris Brown released off the album A Better Time. Finally, we see Ade Kunle Gold all loved up on making us catch feelings in the visuals for his latest single titled Sinner. Enjoy. This definitely was one interesting week and would like to know what you think about all the stories down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything. Until next time, I'm sending you truckloads of love and light.